Okay. Okay. So this is chamfering. Did you understand bro? In chamfering, you want to select the maximum chain and in cut parameter, 2D chamfer, you plug in what is the side value you want to machine and how much the tool should go a little bit down, 1 mm. And you can use multi faces for rough passes and linking. Top of stock and depth should be same. Okay. Okay. Right. Then the next step is thread milling. So let's imagine, let's we are going to plan M32 <clears throat> into 2 mm pitch. So the maximum diameter is 32. Okay. And the minimum diameter, let's say it is like 30. So 30 into 2 mm, M32 into 2 mm pitch. So first let's put one new drill. So drill, center point, okay, tool, right click, create new tool. For uh, U drill, I am selecting a bull cutter because bull cutter means it will be like a U drill. So 30 U drill, R1 radius, okay, finish. Okay. G81 itself we are plugging. And let's say absolute and the total depth will be minus 35 mm. So if I press OK, it will okay. be plunged to the middle, plunged to the bottom. Okay, 35 mm, it is plunged. Now we are going to put thread mill. For thread mill, right click, mill tool path, you go to circle tool path. In circle tool path, you select thread mill. So once you select thread mill, Keep in top view. It will ask you to select the entity. Always when putting red mill, you do entities. You select entities and select the maximum OD and press OK. Now it will okay. ask for a tool. Right click, create new tool. Then thread mill. Next, it will ask you for the how much pitch. 2 mm pitch. What is the outer diameter of the tool? That is 20 mm. What is the cutting length? 14. So this is the insert length. Okay, bro. So one is pitch, okay. another one is cutting diameter, and this is cutting length. This is insert length. See, there are three types of things. That is two types. Red milling insert. There are multi-point cutting tool. There is a single point cutting tool. Thread milling insert. If you go for insert, see, this is multi point insert, bro. Okay. Okay. And this is single point insert, bro. Okay. 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 So this is single point insert. This is multi point insert. Okay. So okay. first we are considering the multi-point insert so that we are providing what is the length of that insert and what is the cutting diameter and what is the pitch. Then I am pressing finish. And we can give what are the feed we required and RPM we require. And what is the plunge rate we can input. And we can go to cut parameter. In cut parameter, this automatically will generate. So thread pitch automatically will come to mm. Thread starting angle, either you want to start in 0 degree or 90 degree, 270 or 360, home, in which degree you want to start, you can machine it. Allowance overcut, if you give point 0.1, it will remove point 0.1 material excess per side. Okay? Okay. No. So if you don't want, to, if you want to machine as per size, you give 0 for this. Then if you are putting like NPT threads and all, you must maintain the tapper angle. So if you provide the tapper angle here, it will put tapper threads. 1.73 okay. degree. Okay. 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 Then either you want to control it by G40 or G41, 42. Either which one you need, you can control it. Okay. Okay. Then ID thread or OD thread. We are going to machine ID thread. Right hand thread or left hand thread. Right hand thread. 
top to bottom or bottom to top. See, both are possible. In thread milling, you can do from machining from top to bottom as well as bottom to top. What is the primary key is? See, let's say for example, we have 30 mm drill space in that if you have a cutting die of 28, okay, only 2 mm clearance. So per side, 1 mm clearance. So if you machine that, the chip will not come outside properly. So there will be a possibility of tool breakage. So okay. if the clearance is now in this, we have created 20 mm tool. So for that, we are putting 30 mm drill first. So side 5 mm clearance, automatically the chip can come outside. So if there is a clearance in which the chip can come outside without any risk, you can machine from top to bottom. If you feel the clearance is too much less and it can't come outside, you kindly machine from bottom to top. Can you understand? Yeah, I understand. If it is through open, then no problem about anything. You can machine from top to bottom. Okay. Okay. Then you click in lead in lead out. You unma you tick this one. Start at center. Start at center. You want to tick. This we can see later. And what is the depth you can provide it? Minus 30 m. Then give okay. So I'll keep in wireframe and I'll keep in isometric view. If I do back plot, now you can see the cutter is coming down. And it is machining one complete pass so that the thread will be formed for this length. After that, it is plunging a little bit down. And it is machining back. Can you understand? Yeah, I understand. So now what happens is, See, in one single pass, we couldn't do that. So what we are doing is, we are going for multi-passes. Multi-passes, per side, there will be one mm start. For that, I'm giving five passes, fine to cut. Five passes, fine to cut. Last one passes, O5 cut. Then two spring passes. Spring passes means it will not cut. It will just run to remove the burr sticked on that part. So the number of spring passes, two. Then what is the finishing pass feed rate and RPM, you can give it here. Can you understand? Yeah, I understood. So just give, okay. Then This you parameter is one related for uh, finish pass. Which one, bro? Uh, last uh, we have entered a RPM feed, no? Yeah, this is 25 feed rate will be increased uh, with uh, last feed rate. In this, let's say we are giving 600. In this, it will become 625. Okay. So, it is applicable only for finished day. Finish yeah, yeah, yeah. In give 2000, 2000 here. So, uh, while giving finishing, it will become 2500. Okay. 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 So it, will, it will be for finishing. After that, you give okay. Then you do regenerate. Now, you can see multiple passes for one number side. Okay. Okay. For this pass merging, see, first pass it will be like this, second pass it will be like this. If you give proper length of the insert only, the thread will get matched and it will run complete. Okay. Okay. So, next what we are doing is this is multiple insert. Now we are going for parameters and goal. And in tool, we are changing this multi point to single point. How you want to change this? You enter what is the pitch value same as the cutting length. Pitch value 2 mm, cutting length also you give 2 mm. That's it. You give OK. OK. Then you do regenerate. So it will come like this. Can you understand? Yeah, I understand. So same way. So why it is taper means we have mentioned some taper degree here. If it is not taper, you can go to this and you can change it to 0 degree. Can you understand? Yeah, I understood. The only thing important in thread milling is tooling details, bro. You want to collect the proper tooling detail and you want to program it. If you provide wrong information, then the program will be means that there will be no thread merging. Then your uh, program, even though you did some program, it will be wrong. So provide proper tooling information in thread milling tool path. Then you take the NC code, okay? Okay. Okay. You revise these two things, only chamfer and thread milling. Uh, if you revised, we can start 3D mold toolpaths tomorrow. Okay. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Good night, bro. Thank you.
Good night, bro. Thank you. Good night.